Hello everybody and welcome to September and this is the month where I have been talking a little bit about it during this year because we're in magenta so not only is the year in magenta we have the month of September in magenta too now magenta is all about transformation it's about change it's about spreading our butterfly wings it's about creating something from a much bigger level um, and a much more wider scope um, and starting putting those ideas in place it rules the eighth chakra so as above so below and so it is the eighth chakra is in our aura so this is why it has such a wide energy. It's two parts red, one part blue. So, you know, you've got that part of this transformation, which is about moving forward, about creating new things. And then you have the blue part, which is actually taking a little bit of a step back and assessing what is actually going on. So a lot of the transformation that's happening is what I would say with adult energy. As we become adults, so we have to negotiate our way. It's not so easy as a child to say, oh, I just want to change this and that's what I'm going to do. There has to be some negotiation. How do we move forward without leaving everybody else behind or how do we bring everybody together? So this colour is fantastic for negotiation. This month, I feel there's going to be a whole load of negotiating going on. It is a fast energy, so the time will be going even faster than it was in August and maybe July. Um, th this is getting to that point in the year where it's getting a little bit harder to actually uh, breathe and take some time. It all feels as though it's moving very, very, very quickly and we haven't got enough time in the day to do all the things that we want to be doing. We have... But there is a lot in this conscious energy of this particular colour. It's also the eighth chakra which actually holds all of our Akashic records. This is a fantastic month for really going deeply within. To really, really, really heal some of those traumas that have been laying dormant inside of us. They perk up every now and again. But this month, I expect to see a whole lot of that coming forward for people. It is the opportunity to actually step back and look at your past or intuit what went on in your, your past to actually help you move forward in the future. This is also a great letting go colour. So if there has been trauma that you have just started to deal with or there's issues in your relationships or issues in your work or where you want to be, this is such a fantastic month to actually bring those to a head and however painful that is going to be, and it will be, you are supported by the universe. You are supported by the energies around you. You are supported by your friends and your family. Even if they don't get it, there is still love. And magenta has a lot of love within it. It has that power of passion, but it also has a deep-seated love for everything that is going on. So this, for me, is one of the key moments in this 2024 year. That double dose of magenta. The ability to actually spread your wings up, come out of your uh, uh, catalyst and turn into that butterfly. We move on next month to gold, which is all about completion. And therefore, the things that you are actually bringing up and working with now, you are going to see them be partly fulfilled within the next couple of months. It's exciting. We have September magenta, October as gold, and then November as red, new beginnings. So these are tense, and it can feel very tense. 
make sure you have the complementary colour to magenta, which is green. Green is the heart. Green is the breath. You need to take that time to breathe. So if it all feels too much, just step back. See yourself in a green bubble and allow that breath to just slow you down, bring you back to who you really are. This is the month to even touch on that and really dig deep. I wish you loads of magenta blessings. I think in the world, as we have Pluto going uh, back into Capricorn, we're going to see lots of things that we're not going to like. It's going to feel very oppressive. Quite a lot of control mechanisms going on. But if you can, take an eagle's view, which is what Prime Gregory talks about. Sit on the shelf and look at it from above and just observe. Keep yourself intact. Open your beautiful wings and allow that transformer energy to actually help you move forward. Many rainbow blessings to you all. Wishing you much love for September and I look forward to seeing you in October.